going on guys, it's BG and welcome back to another video of Clash Royale. As you guys know, the double exit challenge is out and I did made it to 9 wins. I'm pretty surprised that I did made it to 9 wins and I just, in just only one loss. Actually, that loss was because of the Royal Giant as you all, everyone hates Royal Giant. But, the fun fact is, I didn't get this one at my main account, but I didn't get it in my second account. I did get it in my lower account. This is my third account so i have a lot of cool replays to show you guys and before i do that let's open these 24000 gold look at that 64000 gold that will be 70000 now let's open this 9 win double exit trash draft challenge chest we got 7 cards just like super magical chest 14 minion hard 19 royal giants 6 bombers 95 zap we are not going to be getting a legendary we got 20 tombstones and some lightning cards nothing really good so the first replay i'm going to show you is a really fun replay so i took the furnace because the furnace is more annoying than the barbarian head then i took the fireball because i can use the fireball against barbarian head then i took the poison because i don't want to let him take anything so now i took the electro wizard because i don't know why i took the electro wizard but i just took that so i have i see it saw that he gave me minion horde and i gave him arrows so i was i was crying at that time but he gave me a legs bomb but this replay he had column royal giant and giant and that was really fun he dropped a column i was like oh i don't know what to do then i used my old strategies this is the back old strategy hidden mini pekka a lot of you guys know that he dropped the princess i think he thought that is it's just one of the min minions but there was a mini pekka and i'm gonna get that down so i'm gonna drop the points and he's gonna drop a royal giant i was totally scared i'm gonna drop fireball and then i'm gonna drop an electro wizard and he's gonna drop another giant like look at this the, the golem went to my elixir collector so that's really good but my mini pekka and electro wizard are just murdering every single thing so he's doing a lot of damage like he did a pretty good damage on his first push but my baby dragon is gonna kill everything and now we are resetting him. he has a pretty heavy deck but I cannot let him drop the raw, uh, take my first tower because he has the raw giant or he will, he will go for it. Now he's going to go in for his big giant and That's why don't let anyone get the elixir collector because no one will have rocket and lightning more often. But he's going for another push but I'm gonna drop my mini pack up because I don't, I'm not gonna let him do any damage. I'm gonna drop another furnace and I think I, I'm gonna drop another elixir well, collector right now. Yeah. Now I have successfully defended so not gonna waste any time let's jump into the second replay
so guys this second replay i want to show you guys because this one was really hard now i took the graveyard because graveyard is really annoying then i took the witch because i need to need anything to count that lumberjack now i have to take spear goblins or else i don't have anything but we do have the staff now and he also have the spark so right in the start i'm gonna drop the mortar as because it's a double easy challenge cheap decks are not gonna work anymore heavy decks will work really good and he has a really good deck and I, he gave me arrows and he took princess like really he's gonna drop a Pekka and a princess i do not have anything like look at that i'm gonna drop a spear goblin and he's gonna zap that i do not have anything but i'm gonna drop a defensive graveyard now defensive graveyard is so good guys now in the whole match you're gonna see me countering everything with the graveyard but his number jack did a lot of damage i think he gave me the golem and took the pekka and he's gonna drop a sparky now i am i'm speechless because a huge push is coming and i do not have anything i'm gonna drop another defensive graveyard like look at this everything is countering by the graveyard because of my because of my deck is cheap I can cycle the graveyard really fast and it's getting low and he's gonna ignore that witch and that's gonna do massive amount of damage. That's gonna be the second graveyard and and we I'm gonna drop an ice spirit and the dark prince is gonna go down. Ice spirit is doing a little bit of damage so I cannot afford that. The spirit goblin is gonna get a little bit of chip damage over there. Lumberjack is coming, I'm gonna drop a Lum uh, witch, he should zap that, but he the zap was really late. I dropped the defensive mortar because I know that I don't need. I can easily arrow cycle it, so I use <laughs> and a dark witch is coming. I'm gonna drop in spear goblin because that's gonna take a while. Now he has a really good deck, but he is not getting his chance against the defensive. Shocked by seeing that, and he's gonna drop a Pekka over there, so I have to drop my defensive graveyard on the Pekka because I don't have anything to do. I'm gonna drop arrow that princess. If I don't have the arrow in this match, I would not win this one because the princess will be really annoying. Dark Ravens is coming. I'm gonna drop a witch and I'm gonna arrow that princess because princesses are really annoying. I don't want to deal with that. So I have 127 health over there, and he's gonna drop Sparky over there. That was not the smartest move. Now I'm gonna drop this graveyard and gonna counter the what? Oh no, he dropped the poison, but still the Red Queen is gonna make it to the tower. Fire Spirit is gonna make it to the tower. And So guys that was the all replay i want to show you guys and uh, let me know that if you get your nine wins at the double legged draft challenge a little bit of tip that always pick these cards royal giant balloon um rocket lightning elite barbarians goblin barrel balaram these kind of cards you should definitely take like you can also predict draft challenges card like if he gave you giant it means he have a possibility of getting a royal giant because giant is most most probably compared by royal giant and another another um, comparison is the prince and dark prince they are also come sometimes compared like that rocket and lightning they are also compared barbarian hut goblin hut so you can predict the draft challenge so that was a little bit of tips and i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe until next time i'll see you guys later